So, as as usual, viewer viewer deck submission, taking the kicks on the tires of a deck that somebody else has sent me. Um, looking at this deck list, it looks like we're going to be incredibly sad if our opponent plays any cards on turn one or turn two. But if anybody's trying to do anything remotely controlling, we're probably going to bury them deep in the ground. This deck, much like the last deck that we just played, lacks a curve. It's a bunch of four mana spells and then some nonsense. So let's see. Let's see how this goes. I think if we've, if we've run into like green, black, and Jeskai and those style of things, this is probably going to do okay. But I think if we've run into, you know, mono red, mono blue, uh, white splash red aggro, we're going to have a real bad time. Are there days where you're burned out of magic or is it love all the time? There's days where I'm a little bit medium compared to others where like I'm a little bit less excited, but on days where, I, where I'm feeling completely burnt out, I just don't stream. So I take days off on occasion. And honestly, since Arena dropped, like I haven't felt even anywhere close to burnt out. Arena's just fun. I play, I play Arena off stream. Like, and when I was just streaming Modern on Magic Online 40 hours a week, I probably hadn't played Magic off stream in close to a year. But since I started playing Arena and the standard format is awesome, I pop on and just like play a random match here and there when I have 20 minutes with nothing to do. What's been my favorite deck in any format? Like historically speaking or currently? I'm just gonna go bin bin here and try and hit the land naturally so I can play the chromatic lantern next turn. If you're gonna play with real cards this weekend, why aren't you practicing shuffling? That's a really good point. It's a really, it's a really good point. Although the modern deck I'm playing this weekend is double sleeved because I'm borrowing it, so not quite the same. Confused about Arena, does our regular Moto Collection know? Magic Arena and Magic Online are separate applications. Magic Online has a secondary market hover, so you're able to sell out of your Magic Online cards and buy into Arena cards with what you get. So if you go to a website such as MTGO Trader, it's actually one of my sponsors for the stream for my Magic Online half, they will buy your Magic Online collection. Yeah, I'm playing the Elf deck that I'm playing at the Invitational. How many times do you recommend shuffling your opponent's deck while cutting until it's sufficiently randomized? I always love when we get new people to stream. Please remember, if you tell, if you want to tell me I'm wrong, you got to tell me why I'm wrong. Otherwise, you're taking a real quick trip to take a breakdown. Why play Magic Online when Arena exists? So, Magic Arena only has standard and limited in it, whereas Magic Online features Magic's older non-rotating formats, such as Modern, Legacy, Vintage, and Pauper. So on this stream, when we're playing Magic Online, we're generally playing Modern and occasionally Legacy. So none of, all of the formats that I can play on Magic Arena, we play on Magic Arena on this stream. But you can't play every Magic format that people want to see played on Magic Arena. All right, so I played Karn here as hopefully a distractor to soak some damage up. Because, like, even if they attack Karn with everything, he goes to one, right? And this also lets the history of Benalia make another token here. So that way I can Golden Demise next turn and clean everything up. So it sounds like you start to develop two different... Th correct, they are. that is exactly what... They are two completely separate applications. Magic Online and Magic Arena are, leaked, are linked in exactly zero ways. They are completely separate. They're products that are created by the same company, but they are not related. I would be very surprised if Magic Online and Magic Arena ever become linked. Well, things are lining up pretty well for us here. Having Ritual of Soot on five is gonna be pretty good against the Mono White deck. This might be a concession ritual, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is.
They might try and fight through because they can kill the Karn here, but like we get to play Niv Mizzet next turn, which is great. Do you ever see Arena coming to OSX? I have no idea. It probably depends on how much effort it will take them to port it. Uh, honestly, there's there's a reason why most game developers don't target platforms like Linux and OSX. It has to do with the expected return on investment. I would be pretty surprised if Arena ever came to mobile either. Magic Magic the Gathering is not a game that scales well onto mobile. So making the game in Unity, Unity doesn't do everything, Mage. So Unity provides a base framework for porting your game to other platforms, but there's still things to handle like the installer. So like for instance, they're not distributing Arena through Steam, right? Which means whatever installer and updater they're using for their application, they need to spend time developing that to be cross-platform, et cetera, et cetera. Please do not use the word retarded in the derogatory manner in my channel ever again. You're getting a 10 minute break for doing it this time. Next time you will be removed forever. Please and thank you. So next turn, I can golden demise. It's actually a little scary. So I get to golden demise. Oh, well that's a fantastic draw. Yeah, Artifact having a native Linux client is fantastic for sure. As a, as a nerd, I am happy with the native Linux client. A choice. Schwamps. Why do you feel MTG doesn't scale well on mobile devices? I mean, like, even this game board's a good example. Like, this, board, this game board isn't even that big by magic standards. And, like, this would be pretty hard to navigate on... This would be pretty hard to navigate on a, on a really tiny screen. So I actually get to kill all their things here with Golden Demise plus Moment of Craving, right? So that does that. And then I go ahead. Oh, I'm going to be one short, right? So I Moment of Craving here. I guess I can Vraska's Contempt too. That's funny. I can actually just like Ritual so to deal a damage. Are there channel rules? Yeah, you can read rules here. In general, use language that's respectful. And then follow the rules listed there as well. Yeah, like when people talk about games like Hearthstone or Eternal is the one that people always talk about coming from Magic, right? Because Eternal is basically Fisher Price Magic. It's very similar. Um, those card games limit the amount of units you can have on the board at any given time to make the mobile play experience acceptable. We're still playing Magic because our opponent doesn't understand that it's over. That, that really locks it up. Niv is so smug and he has every right to be. Ain't that the truth? Someone needs to write up instead of X, say Y for those who can't grasp the respectful language thing. Yeah, the, the important thing that a lot of people need to remember is that Watsi's not a software company. So like, I understand why Valve, I understand why Valve's game 
was on all platforms from the start, right? Like, they're a software company. They do software all the time. And, like, Gaben, Gaben loves him some Linux. He really doesn't want to get shut out by the Windows Marketplace. Hey, RJ, thank you for the $10 tip. I appreciate it. I don't want to talk about it. I just want to give you $10. Well, thanks for the support. In case my current six drop that's in play wasn't good enough. God, the animation's great. I would like to draw some cards. I think anyone who's seen Butthole can, yeah, you're not wrong, Astix. You're not, you're not wrong. Man, how unlucky we have to discard a card. Don't you think not working to bring arenas to phones is a huge oversight? It's not about bringing arena to phones or not bringing arena to phones. It's about the fact that Magic as a game, one of the things that makes Magic a great game is the fact that like you could do these big boundless things and a mobile screen just doesn't allow for big boundless things to happen. They would have to fundamentally design Magic in a different way like Hearthstone or like Eternal or like these other games that sacrifice strategy in a lot of ways to fit on these smaller screens. Yeah, Moment's great. Golden Demise is great. Discovery's probably a little loose. I think I have to keep the Demon Lord because I need ways to actually kill them. Like, I think these are uncuttable. Like... Magic board states can become unmanageable on my on my 27 inch monitor sometimes. I can't imagine fumbling around trying to play them on a cell phone. If you're looking for a great mobile card game, the Warhammer card game that I like released their second set today actually. That game's a lot of fun. Spent some time playing that at the gym this morning. You are punishing waterfalls. Welcome to the Knights. This hand's great, right? Just like moment into map into contempt. What's Mastermind's acquisition here to grab? Whatever you would like. I'll be here, Mr. Photown. We've got, uh, I'm going to be going for another four hours or so, three and a half, four hours. Matthew's supposed to be here at some point. I think he's going to be here about five. He's going to hang out for a bit before we leave for Chicago. How do you play Niv in this deck? Using the card Chromatic Lantern. My opponent Mulligan 2-4. All right. You do you, opponent. It's 9.30 p.m. here. It is currently uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. I like to think the sword is there to help us protect the realm and the one-year shield is to protect us from the other mods. <laughs> oh, Beetle. What deck and strategies is this archetype weak to? I'd have to imagine this deck is a little bit mediocre against decks that are really aggressive like mono blue and mono red. So before the attack here, ooh, all right, let's treasure map, see what's on top of our deck. I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and kill this here. Their draw's pretty good for Mully getting so low, but Niv's a tough nut to crack. How would you feel about Watsi releasing an Alina Light on mobile? The latter's an event separate. 
Yeah, I think that would be an idea to Nicobo Loss. I think like a companion app style thing for Arena on mobile would also be reasonable. Like if they did a, if they did like, you could like build your decks on Arena and manage your collection, or you could build your draft deck and draft your decks on mobile, something like that. Some kind of special mobile only formats. But I think like bringing just generic standard and generic draft to mobile is is some nonsense because magic just doesn't play well just gonna keep digging here someday i might find a pair of boots destructal thank you for the two month reset welcome back all right so if i do this i get five I'm gonna go ahead and contempt this. Wasn't it best to upkeep the treasure map? No, I wasn't sure how much mana I was gonna use this turn. I'm pretty close to Zakama mana here, right? Definitely, definitely that one. That one deals eight too. Quite plague wind, but it's close. Oh, it is right because Niv does one for the turn. Just remember when you insight with Niv, this stream is PG. What's going on, Marty? Don't mind me, target myself. Are we, are we done here? Are we, are we done here? Oh, I drew a golden demise. Holy crap, we drew a golden demise. All right, well, this deck is sweet. How are we doing, folks? Welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're out in the world. Thanks for dropping by and joining us here today. If you're new, my name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full-time here on Twitch. We play basically only constructed on the channel. We play a ton of standard here on Arena. We play some modern on Magic Online. This deck, like most of the decks we play on the stream, is a viewer-submitted deck list. If you want to find out how to submit one of your decks to be played on stream, be sure to check out bit.ly forward slash Google Sellout. Past subscribing and submitting decks, the best way you can support my content is by checking out some of my sponsors. Harry's Razors would love to help you get that nice, close, clean shave using code Jeff Hoagland at bit.ly forward slash Google Shave. You can save $5 on your brand new starter kit with them. Cardsphere.com would love to help you turn your cards into other cards direct to the players. There's no haggling, and they just take 1% fee off the top. InkedGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience using code Jeff12. You can save 12% on custom play mats, mouse pads, binders, and bags with them. And of course, I'd like to welcome everyone out there to Hoaglandia. Thanks for dropping by our little slice of the internet here today. We got almost a thousand people in chat already. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for spending part of your weekend here with us. We won our first match with this chromatic black deck against uh, Mono White Aggro. So we're heading on into the second one to see if we can keep that up. We did play Black Red Walkers. It was really clunky and awkward. Do you have an updated Turbo Depth list? Not one that I played in a long time. So I'd recommend just deferring to anybody who's played it more recently than me. Yeah, it turns out when you draw your Ritual of Soots and your Golden Demises, you dominate the Mono White deck. Who'd have thunk it? Is there a way to import decks from your website onto Arena? Yeah, I should probably put a note on my site. If you click the Stream Decker button in the upper right-hand corner of the deck list on my pages, it'll open on the Stream Decker website. And on the Stream Decker website, they have a download to text, export to Arena, and all sorts of other import-export options. What's going on, Havoc?
There's a giant planes on the screen. If that hasn't refreshed for you from the uh, extension, you want to refresh your browser page. My FM night for the first time in a long time. I put you their just kite list in your site. Is it still your? Yeah, yeah. I like. I actually updated the list on my site uh, this week when we played just Kai again recently. I like that build a lot. Quill man, thank you for the 13 months. Welcome back. We're taking a hit for four here. Are you still a fan of cutting cast downs for the main deck erasures? I am, Majik. I'm gonna test that some more this weekend, but I think that's a good direction to take it in. Our opponent has played creatures, and I have a bunch of clunky things in my hand. Uh, I guess I'm doing this and getting Ritual of Soot. Just like eight mana Ritual of Soot is good enough here. What do you think of cutting Karn and Eldest for two Mirari Conjectures so you can recur. I think, I don't think this deck's problem is needing, needing access to more copies of card advantage. I feel like this deck has enough ways to generate card advantage. I'd rather keep things that impact the board. This is in fact just a mono black control deck. This is a mono black control deck flashing Niv visit. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised they've been the find there. They must be digging for a land, right? They must like have a six drop in their hand. Or they already have a find. Put this towards modern green men and women. Wish you all the practice to get some STG Hoagland tokens. Go to Yachty. Thanks for the bits. I'm actually playing a modern tournament in Chicago this weekend with um, with elves. So that should be fun. Get a little bit of practice shuffling in paper before the tournament next weekend. So I have seven, eight, nine mana. Start with this. I, am I own almost no paper magic cards. I own a small amount of paper magic cards um, that have sentimental value or are monetarily worthless. But then when I go to play in tournaments like this, so like two, two different wonderful subscribers sent me cards to play decks for the Invitational. So I got most of uh, most of elves from one person, a couple other cards from another, and then I had another person send me all of the Pirates deck. They have another find here. I play, I play paper. I play paper pretty sparingly. Oh, you have a Chupacabra. Sign me up. This thing costs 10 to kick. I don't have 10, right? I only have 9. Kick it! Do 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 Yes, I will be at the 2K hippity. Life is complete. We kicked Josu. Ain't that the truth? What are the odds this demon lord kills us? I mean, I'm not here to not cast this demon lord, right? Okay, there's no, there's no way I'm not casting this demon lord. Woo! Woo! Dodged it. All right. 
Exile that. Play the Eldest Reborn. Bye, friend. Bye, friend. Do people at Semidex get to add things to the queue? I let them choose between adding things to the queue or me sending them money as a thank you. Paying for shipping. And then usually if I do really well in a tournament, I send people some of the money that I made from the tournament. But it's it's very difficult to do well enough to in Magic tournaments to actually make money. Most people going to Magic tournaments are just setting their money on fire. What's going on, Gokai? Thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome, welcome. Man, what am I even doing in this matchup? This Golden Demise is probably bad. Treasure Map's great. Fresca's Contempt's great. Probably want Cleansing Nova in the main deck. Eldest Reborn seems a little bit mediocre. They tend to have a lot of poopy creatures extra. Do I own 4x of all cards you're going to build these viewers to decks? I have four of most cards. There's a, there's still a chunk of mythics that I'm missing, but most of them aren't constructed playable. How many rares and mythics are in the 75? A lot. A lot is a lot of number, a lot. Time to donate for a deck with those mythics, right? And every time, like, I hit not having... All right, hold on, hold on. Do you want Twin Unbanned or Hollow One Banned? If you want Twin Unbanned, I don't see how it helps the format. Please explain to me how Twin is any worse than half of the things you die to on turns two and three in modern. People, people, people just don't get it. They're just like, well, twin doesn't fix anything. Modern's not a format that's about being fixed. Modern's a format that's about just like everybody playing whatever degenerate pile of magic cards they want. And I just like, why? Why? Why do like why do the people that enjoy Hollowed One and Tron get to have fun, but people who like playing Splinter Twin and Birthing Pod just get shafted, right? Like, I'm not saying we should ban any of any of these cards that exist. I am, however, saying that you should let everybody have some fun. It ba basically that's it mage right people are like people are like every type of modern deck sucks except the one they like playing did our opponent salt off and leave i think that might have been a they got beat by josu off of double cabal stronghold and walked away from their computer i think that's exactly what happens here what an excellent time to do jeff does social media How are you today? Have you are going you going to play in the Cascade event? I have I am not going to play in the Cascade event. So basically all of the streaming I do here on this channel is viewers submit a deck list for standard and modern. So I have a giant queue of decks like for instance right now at this very moment my deck queue has 52 decks in it and the deck queue is actually really small right now because it got large enough that I had to stop accepting deck lists. Somebody called me and left a voicemail. Random phone number. I'll be okay. What will my event be called? I don't, I, we don't, Wizards of the Coast doesn't work with people like me. Oh, Shav, sorry I missed it. Thanks for the five months, welcome back. I'm sorry, it was probably mid social media. Damn the social media, missing me subs. Thank you for the five months of support, welcome back. Well, we're, we're 
2-0, kind of. We, we've, we've finished one whole match, then we had another person leave. My son's seventh birthday, he just got home from school. Can you give Damien a shout out? Happy birthday, Damien. Hope you had a good day at school and have a fun weekend. Ta-da! All right, uh, mulligan. Looks like an easy mulligan. Kinda sad, like if we had a second land, the discovery could do the Lord's work, but you just don't. That sounds fantastic. Do not need another acquisition. I did Yu-Gi-Oh for MTG rotation formats are so much more nuts than formats for a turn two, three game energy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. The 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 degenerate uh like non-rotating formats where things end quickly are far less good than a good standard format. So here's the thing about Splinter Twin. You're right that Splinter Twin slots into lots of different decks in Modern, but Splinter Twin's also incredibly easy to interact with. Splinter Twin's a combo that literally can never combo through a removal spell unless they jump through extra hoops like counter spells and things of that nature. Like compared to interacting with something like Storm or Dredge or half a dozen of the other things that people play and kill you with in Modern, Splinter Twin is absurdly easy to interact with. Yeah, yeah, if you're someone who likes interactive games of magic, but standard is like the only format for you, realistically. I think this is an opportunity to just jam Karn. I could Vraska's Contempt this, but they've been to Phoenix, so I'd kind of like to save my Contempt for a Phoenix. There's a chance my opponent like flips their bird back into play next turn and they like kill my Karn, but I think that's fine because Karn like drew a land, fogged a combat step, and then we get to Contempt the bird. You don't even have to have instant speed interaction. You can play Spellskite. Spellskite just literally goes in every deck. It's fine. Tempest Shadow, thanks for the four, thanks for the eight months. Thanks for re-upping your Twitch Prime this way again. I appreciate it. Don't ditch another bird. Double bird. They already have double bird. Woof. All right. Well, that things didn't end up well for our hero here, chat. I don't think I ever appreciated Twin or Pot enough until they got banned and it opened up the path for all the really bad trash that's running rampant in Modern now. Yep. It's a great, it's a great way to put it. Oh, I think we're dead. I think even if I would have Raskus contempted the Drake last turn, I'd still be pretty dead here. Blueback Pirates, what if we play Vicious Offering instead of Moment of Craving? Because you can kick it. That gets up to five, right? That actually seems like a really good idea. Because, like, that kills, like, Lyra and Shalai. Huh. I actually like that idea a lot. I might, I might try that. It kills Niv, too. Huh. Huh. What a, a well-reasoned discussion. We're just dead, right? Yeah, like our opponent did stuff and we died. Sure, but like... It does 2-2 two -two without doing anything else. This deck just like has no cards for this matchup, right? This deck's just like a pile of moment of cravings and just like things that, like this deck just can't interact with Drakes. Okay, I'm just not even gonna play this matchup. I'm gonna move this around and make it a little bit less greedy. I'm gonna slot some cast downs into our 75 for the Drake matchup. Need a couple more treasure maps in the main too, I think. Is there a treasure map in my sideboard? <laughs> I'm gonna trim some of the clunk. 
Ali makes some sweet decks, but he doesn't have a lot of respect for aggressive things a lot of the time. I'm just getting rid of all these discoveries. I probably need the card selection. It just he just got all the discovery. Yeah, I think I was uh, I was getting there very quickly. This seems fine. Let's try that. I like four cast down because. You just, you, I, I just, I feel like you like four in these decks that are, in the decks that are trying to be interactive, I feel like four is the floor on the number of ways you need to interact with drakes. Like being able to interact with drakes is huge at two, for, for two mana explicitly, sorry. Cause like, obviously we have Frasca's Contempt which lets us interact with drakes. That's very, a very expensive banner for doing so. Is the new standard model going to be four or eight sets after the model changes take hold? This, uh, sta the magic standard format goes from five sets like we have now up to eight and then back to five. Oh, this card. No, wait, different matchup. This hand's fine. It needs some lands, but it's reasonable. No. Well, if we hit... If we hit a land drop next turn, this will be one of our best possible starts here on the play against Mono Red. The first step to making a sweet deck is to pretend that aggro doesn't exist. In a way, yeah, you're not wrong. Actually, Gabriel Paints, it was going to be 5-6, five, 5-6, six, five, six, five, six rotation. What do you think of the reasoning of people wanting twin and stone twin unbanned if modern if modern wouldn't be completely different form with those broken cards? People just want to play with magic cards they like. Modern's a format that is entirely about registering whatever pile of garbage you want to register just because it plays magic cards that you enjoy casting. I don't I think twin would be a reasonably competitive deck in modern and would likely be tier one. I don't think it would be overbearing. I think Stoneforge Mystic would be like Bloodbraid Elf and Jace the Mind Sculptor and that people would play it because they love it, but it wouldn't actually be good. People just want those cards unbanned because they're magic cards that they like playing with. And modern is such an unbalanced, obnoxious format that if everybody else gets to play with unbalanced, obnoxious things, why can't the people like Splinter Twin and Stoneforge play with those types of things too? Yep, this is my, my schedule is here. I think pod's fine. I think anything remotely close to as expensive as pod in terms of mana is fine. My sideboard have anything to take an enchantment off the table. Would my sideboard not have a way to take an enchantment off the table? That's kind of a tilt. Nova doesn't count. Nova, Nova doesn't count. It kills my lanterns. Zakama kinda counts. Kinda. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alright. Uh. We're nowhere near casting Zakama, though, right? I think I'm going and getting Sacrament here, right? Sacraments to gain three at the moment. Oh, you gain twice X, right? It's a gain six. Yeah, definitely Sacrament. Sacrament. 
so next turn, I will play a land and then activate Stronghold and make six. And then I'll Mastermind's Acquisition with two floating, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can't get Zakama next turn. So I want to attack here because next turn I can Mastermind's Acquisition plus get the draw seven to deal lethal. Oh, I could also get Sacrament again. That's funny. Yeah, that's true. This gets... Uh... I just, I just kill them, right? So this leaves me six, and then I'm gonna have, I have five plus two. This thing costs seven out of the sideboard. Niv doesn't even have to get his hands dirty. He's just like, I'm gonna sit over here and blast you one at a time. Don't, don't mind me. I'll just, I'll just be over here. Triggers. Smug dragon. Listen, he's got every right to be smug, chat. He's got every right to be smug. All right, extra cast down, moment of cravings, demise, contempt. I think I want this in my deck just so I can draw it because like I can search for this out of my deck with Mastermind's Acquisition anyways. I'm gonna cut the Demon Lords. I actually, I did it already. I added four cast downs to the deck. So cast down should help against Drakes. It won't make us perfect against Drakes, but it'll, it should help a little bit. I need to cut three cards here. Now, my favorite card in Magic is Spell Stutter Sprite. Do I just cut Niv? Just like get him from the sideboard? That's probably not unreasonable. Yeah, maybe Golden Demise isn't good enough. I'll just leave two in. Let's do that. Sacrament without a Lantern could be a dead draw. It could be, but it's good enough that I'm willing to risk it. I'm pretty sure any hand with lands and Moment of Graving is just keepable in this matchup. Yeah, che cheating death is a card from a different game. All right, so because I drew this, I'm gonna take a hit from this, I think, and just plan to golden demise it next turn. That is a worst case scenario here. I'm still gonna one for one this demise, but I don't, I don't feel good about it. Miss M Mix Master Haggis, thank you for the four months. Welcome back. Thanks for the third of a year. Probably dead here. Need to draw like rituals at this turn. My secret is probably bad. I should have just moment of craving the uh, the first pyromancer, and then I could golden demise the second one. Effectively at six here. New to MTG, new to magic. Started with green black, having trouble finding which list of the good template. I've seen combos of both decks and appears. In my personal experience, I always favor playing more lands rather than less lands. 
because um, I, I think you lose way more games on average to not being able to cast your spells than to drawing too many lands, especially when you have access to good utility lands. For people wondering, yes, I knew that clicking take action would kill me there. It was easier than clicking the concede button. Clicking take action was one click, conceding is two clicks. So we're just talking about efficiency here, people. Taking the damage was 100% the right line. My choices there were clicking take action or clicking concede and clicking take action was way quicker. All about click efficiency, chat. For people that follow Modern and followed my, my tweet from earlier, the whole point of Modern is people getting to play with sweet cards they like. Why do some people get to do busted things but others can't? Let people play magic. I don't have, it's tweeting, doing social media while we're playing Arena is dangerous because I don't necessarily have time to read it back because of the timer. You can see there my arena running on my my wonderful wine window right on time treasure map. Welcome to the party People were asking earlier what our bad matchups were. People that were wondering meet red cards. Is Arena well suited for wine? Last time I installed it, the game crashed every three games. Yeah, Arena works great under wine. The installer or the updater doesn't work and the installer is missing text, but once you actually get it installed, it runs perfectly fine. Actual, actual Unity part. You need to make sure you're, you're using wine staging specifically. Stock, stock vanilla wine isn't going to work for you. The choices we make reveal who we are. The choices we make reveal who we are. So I just need to live for one turn here. You know what? I should have, this was a mistake. I should have made another card instruct rather than drawing a card because I hit my land for the turn. So I should have made a card instruct instead. Man, they, they bricked for a turn. I think, I think we're a favorite to win from this point. Yeah, Zakama costs nine though. Whereas this is much cheaper than that. This I can pay for six. Can standard staple sanguine sacrament here. These are these are my five fives. I'm at 17. Go. My retribution will be swept. Awaken. Awaken. Yeah, they are. They are super dead. 
In fact, I'm going to get Moment of Craving here so I can gain two in a pinch just in case something crazy happens next turn. But like, I'm going to play another card in here. I'm going to make another thing and I'm going to flip this treasure map and like attack them with 10 tens. Like they're, they're literally jump blocking this turn. Must be built. Oh, sorry. They're only nine nines. Sorry. They're only nine nines because it's only plus two. Apo apologies, chat. I advertised ten tens and they were only nine nines. I feel, I feel like I'm a liar. I have false advertising. Sure. You got me. Down to 13. My friends. Hey, Croker, it's Friday and Jeff is playing Sweet Dex. What's going on? Welcome. Are you having a good start to your weekend? All right. So, so far, other than Drake's, Mono Black seems unbeatable. And we put a bunch of cast downs in our deck. So, like, maybe, maybe we'll be able to, uh, maybe we'll be able to beat Drake's this time through. For playing Tron, we have a destructible 10 10s. Should I craft the fourth Karn or Zakama? Definitely the fourth Karn. Karn's really important for this deck. Is it really worth it to main deck Niv? I don't know, but it's definitely sweet. Listen, we're not we're not playing this deck to be optimal. We're playing this deck to be sweet. What's going on, Boneless? Filling my cup up. But give any thoughts trying the special event? I am not. So, if you're not familiar with my stream, basically all the decks we play here are viewer submitted deck lists. So, anytime I'm streaming that I'm not playing decks from my deck queue is basically like wasted time for me. My deck queue has like 50, 50 to 100 decks in at any given point. Is the modern portion of your queue unfrozen as well? If so, can you get Grishel Brand in there for me? The modern portion technically isn't unfrozen, but I'm gonna add Grishel Brand because Grishel Brand is love, Grishel Brand is life. So the modern queue is still technically on hold, but for a deck that I love and we play constantly, that can definitely get added. Thanks for the support, no lava. about a lot better but it definitely got like marginally better so i think yeah if they play no disinformation computer i'm actually gonna bin vraska's contempt because i feel like at this point we're just like racing to top decks so i want to just make sure like i have as many lands as possible from we get top decking as much mana as possible Almost half a year. Can I still get my money back? Go on. Well, hello there. Thanks for the five months. I appreciate it. Yeah, chromatic lantern lets your land step for any color. Sorry. This person this person's actually super reasonable that we've been tweeting with. And there's my there's my response that you I was just typing. For people, for people that are following the Hogland does social media that we've been going back and forth on, there's the
Yeah, I agree, Essa. It's basically just like a bad mana rock that like turns your demonic tutor into overdrive, which is sweet. We have nine mana right now. Opponent just sitting here spinning their tires, which is good for us. So we can tap three with this to make five. Then we have six, seven, eight, nine left over. Information's too broken instead. Gotta, gotta get rid of the info. Gotta, gotta stop the info. Well, unless they have, unless they have Eldest Reborn, this should be pretty good for us. All swamps, play this card that says it, mana. Your move, Yugi boy. This is all, this is all we got. I guess if they have a removal spell here, they just like contempt this and then play disinformation campaign to make us discard our card. Just like kind of sucks for us, but definitely just got to play it out so we don't just lose it to campaign. Wow, do they just have nothing? What is their hand just like infinite counter spells and discard spells? All right, so I'm just playing this out so they don't get to take it away from us next turn. It's probably going to get counterspelled. This lets us, this lets us draw a card though. So like, we're definitely just here to power through it, right? It's like play through the pain. All right, down to 13. They're looking at a lot of cards here. So I assume they're gonna find a way to kill this thing. Yeah, you're right. I should technically activate the Cabal to have mana floating. We didn't get punished, but you are correct. That's technically what I should do. All right, so we're dead. I think we're dead. Wow, swing and a miss on the Ascanta. They're gonna put our Niv Mizzet into play here in a second. Saying the auto tapper lost you a game on Magic Arena is like blaming your keyboard for when you misspell a word. The auto tapper does what it's told to do. If the auto tapper messes up, it's because you let it mess up. Be an adult, take some responsibility for the actions that you make. Don't don't blame the cute computer because you were lazy and sloppy. Don't don't blame the computer. The computer didn't do it. You did it. The computer just did what it was told to do. My keyboard has it out for me, right? I think I just board in all the threats here. Well, there's an argument to leaving some moment of cravings in my deck because they're probably a, they're like a Thief of Sanity deck most likely. Oh, that's a fair assessment. They're likely on Doom Whisperer 2 and Cast Down would cover Doom Whisperer and Thief. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with the people that are suggesting Cast Down over Moment of Craving. I agree with your assessment.
Anybody who's never played Magic Online, for reference, the auto tapper is the single best thing about Magic Arena. Somebody, as somebody who's played a lot of Magic Online, the auto tapper is the single best thing about Arena. All right, so I'm gonna lead on this, I think. I'm kind of expecting this to get countered. And then I could just jam card next turn, hopefully have a resolve. The animations are a close second, but the auto tapper making the games play quickly is huge. Really, really huge. All right, counter me, baby. Oh, I should have tapped the Cabal Stronghold because this could get me duress. I will defend my allies. I will defend my allies. The third moment of craving. Excellent. I feel like my opponent has some contempt for this card. It really doesn't matter. Like, the chances of them giving me a duress are, like, super low there. He shall be reborn. It doesn't bode well for our hero chat. All right, I feel like we're hitting some of the, the clunky flip side of this, right? Like, this deck's been really sweet and powerful for a bunch of games, but, like, we also drew pretty well in those games, I think. So hitting hitting some of the back half of things that are the... Like, we've got our we've got our mana, and we just, like, can't cast any spells here. There's, like, no way a Chromatic Lantern's ever resolving. It's a touch rough. Not even just like, not even ramp deck problems, but like wrong mixture problems, right? It's so like we cut discovery to try and get more interaction for the early game, but then that reduces some of the consistency that the deck has. You like how we completed our play red white spells quest? Penguin was doing work towards that quest. It really was. Yeah, sweet. It's not even, I don't even, I wouldn't even attribute it to mid. It's more of a combo deck problem, right? Like in a way we're a pseudo combo deck that like needs Chromatic Lantern to function. Why is Omniscience in the board? I mean like, why is there a Chromatic Lantern in our deck? The whole point of the deck is to do sweet things. If we, were, if we were even remotely worried about being optimal, we'd be playing something else. There's Vicious Offering. It's a card. We might try this in Pirates. Someone suggested that for Pirates. It seems really potentially good. Should be the stream tagline. If we're worried about playing something else, well, we'd be playing something else. I did not cast down the wild growth walker because I wanted to be resource efficient that turn because it sets me up for a turn like this where I get to like play another lantern and play the cast down. Omniscience cannot X for infinite. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Yeah, God bless you. Six, six, draw three, go. This card is such a gamble in this deck. Just like the biggest of gambles. No one said restoration was painless. Oh, did I have mana to wild growth it on two? Yeah, I think you're cast out on two. I think you're right. I don't know. I just I just clicked through it because I was sloppy. Maybe it depends. Like like if splashing fiery cannonade becomes free, it might be worth it. 
I had the demon 12 me one game with this deck. That's fantastic. Oh, that card's a dick. Um, well, shit. Reborn, they sacrifice the Vivian chat. If I play the card and make a blocker, Vivian kills the blocker. Yeah, yeah, we're done. Oh, I guess I can just play Jousu. That's true. I can play Joustu and hope they have nothing. That's a, that's a not dead on board line. Yeah, the current creatures are artifacts chat and she destroys artifacts. Ravenous Jupacabra. Mm, this actually might get me out of it. So if I get to block here, next turn I can acquisition for Cleansing Nova and kill all the creatures. Oh, no, wait, I'm still short on that, right? I need to draw a land. I need to draw a land. Not a land. That's fine. Even if we hit the sweeper, we're probably still dead there because they could find broker back their stuff. All right, I'm not going to do a full shill here, but I do, however, need to give you a shill page for a hot second while we reload Magic Arena. Take a little dirt nap. I had, I had eight mana that turn, chat. I had three lanterns and five. I needed to draw a land so I could play four to get the Cleansing Nova and then pay five to cast it. Cast down seems good here. Extra contempt seems good here. Leave the rest on the sideboard. Seems fine. Am I excited for Onslaught later tonight? Yeah, I played a little bit of Onslaught uh, this morning on my tablet. And I'll probably play it on the on the drive. Matt's driving to Chicago tonight, so I'll probably play it while I'm riding in the car. I would encourage everybody who thinks I had enough mana to do things that turn to read all the magic cards that I had in play. I don't know which of the cards people are missing the rules text on, but they're they're missing the rules text on some of it. So if you got if you got timed out or you think I had enough mana to do stuff, you don't know the rules text on my cards that were in play. Is there a reason you restart arena from time to time? I don't restart it, it crashes. So occasionally Occasionally, Arena crashes when, when a game ends on me. So I get to go ahead and cast this down, and then I get to Karn. Yeah, Stronghold doesn't ramp till you have five Swamps in play chat. It costs three to activate. Yeah, it was fine to add to the Kuno Lava. Where is this deck on the sweet, fun, good triangle? It's definitely further on the sweet, fun segment, but it's kind of like Five Color Witch. Like, it has games it can win, but it also has ones where it's just, like, infinitely helpless. I feel like this deck's probably has its draws matter more than the specific matchup. Towards, like, the Five Color Witch deck explicitly 
was only the five coin one check is like explicitly only good against like green black rock whereas like this just has some really clunky draws sometimes it actually does map man this application does in fact leak memory it just also crashes on itself so i don't actually get to notice the memory leak it relieves itself of leaking memory by crashing occasionally I mean, that depends on what your definition of, like, crazy is, right? All right, we're done here. Let's try and get one more. It's just more noticeable that Magic Online leaks memory because Magic Online is, like, slow to begin with. So, like, when it gets more slow, it's, like, painfully, painfully obvious. Am I doing? I'm doing all right. Life is swell. What do we got next? Oh, sweet. They're going to beat people down a little bit. We got mono green stompy up after this one. Steam vents. All right. Drakes? I wouldn't mind a rematch against Drake. See how it feels when we have four cast downs. Yeah, it looks like birds. Okay. Our hand's okay for this matchup. Like, we've got some ramp in it. We've got a moment of craving. Got a Vraska's Contempt. What causes memory leaks? There's a, there's, it's a really complicated question. They can be one of the harder things to track down in software development, especially in really complex programs. Am I running Arena in a VM or straight window? So Arena, just like Magic Online, runs via Wine which is a compatibility layer for Unix operating systems to allow you to run Windows applications. So Wine is how I play Arena and Overwatch and Magic Online and the couple other Windows games that I play on occasion. Night Stars, and thankful for the entertainment. Thank you for the eight months. I appreciate it. Hope you had a good holiday. Thanks for the two thirds of a year. Let's start drawing cards with card. I am card. I am card. Yes, you are card. You big strong card. Do I pay attention to Owl? I don't. Christy and I play Overwatch very casually. It's actually been a hot second since we played. We haven't played since they released the newest character. My life's just been crazy. Streaming work. I work like 60 to 80 hours a week. And then Christy and I have been, Christy and I have been hunting for houses. We've been spending a lot of time looking at different open houses and stuff on the weekends. But we put in an offer on something and it's supposed to be closing in January. So we're done looking at houses now. So we'll probably have time to play again soon. A lot of our, a lot of our spare time together has been going into that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm still living in the same area. We're just looking to upgrade from what we have now. What we bought now is like a starter home five years ago. So we've saved up a lot of money since then. Moving to something a little bit more current. Is your used to moto, do you ever find yourself conceding matches in arena because of slow opponents, play tap, hold priority? Nah, everybody on arena is way faster than moto opponents. Is Twitch money good? Sorry if that question is out of line. Yeah, this job pays okay. Pays all right. So for instance, right now I currently have um, 23, a little over 2,300 subscribers. And each subscriber equates to about $3.50 for me before taxes. So this is like a full-time job. It's, this, it's the same, it's the same as if I was working doing software development. How much of your house have we paid for by Divic? We did not play Modern Green Stompy Deck. So those that aren't familiar with my content, the decks that are still listed in the stream title are decks that I have yet to play today. As I play decks, I take them out of the stream title. Everybody getting out their calculators, yep. Someone tried to tell me that you couldn't stream for a living. I am far from the only person that streams for a living. They have three Phoenixes in here. 
Wolf is a very dead card. So Karn's gonna take six. I'm gonna take three. I don't I don't make ninja money, but I, I make enough to like, you know, consider this to be, to be my job, for which I am grateful. I am streaming from a Linux computer. There, yeah, there are a lot of people who make significantly more money than I do streaming on Twitch. N Ninja, Ninja clears millions per month. Millions, millions per month. All right, so we just golden demise here. So like there's a Nif Mizzet on top of my deck. So like this clears the birds, but like the birds come back next turn. So do I even do this? I have six. Do I just, do I just like contempt plus craving here? I think I just contempt plus craving here. I'm actually just gonna pass. I'm gonna contempt plus craving here. City makes 500,000 a month from Twitch, Captain Command. He also makes money from advertising. He also makes money from sp various sponsorships in different ways. So, plus random ad money from YouTube and other stuff like that. So my opponent's hand is like super full here. So if I Golden Demise on my turn, they're very likely to bring the Phoenix back and hit me with them again. Whereas this way I get to kill two of them, gain four, and then only take three. They have a dive down. Oh, this is a good line on their part. They shocked their own Phoenix to keep it in the graveyard. To be fair, I went to college. I have a master's degree in mathematics. I think a lot of what I learned in school was helpful for preparing me for what I do today. This will aid us. That's true. I also don't gain two because they kill it. Hey, here's my thing. Gas some spells, opponent. Do it. Yeah, correct, Gabriel Paints. And in Magic, so like Magic doesn't have huge viewer numbers. Like Magic streamers, from my understanding on average, we have way higher average, uh, av we have way higher subscriber to average viewer ratios than a lot of streamers. Like, you know, Ninja has, you know, you know 80,000 people that watch on any given stream. Whereas, like, I have a 1,000 people, but I have 2,000 subs. So, like, Ninja doesn't have the same ratio that I do, but, like, he has just a lot more, right? I think we're dead, chat. Yeah. We're dead to shock. I like the Kappa Cat dance What's going on. Matt Wood, thanks for the two months. Welcome back. It's gonna be the fourth Phoenix. Man, Teamer Flash. That was my favorite deck for a long time. That standard format was gas. Like, the, li the line is cast Golden Demise and then die here, right? Like, the odds of them not being able to bring these Phoenixes back is, like, slim to none. Like, we had a hand that was going to be okay against Drakes, and then they just, like, never had any Drakes. Yep, yeah, I agree. The Phoenix deck is very good. Oh, we're just, we're actually just dead, right? Sorry. I, I zoned there for a second. They were, they were casting that and they had two cards in hand. So they were going to have plenty to bring back. 
All right, so these Ritual of Soots are pretty bad. Cut those, cut Eldest Reborn. Uh, click Submit and Pray. I guess I have Duress too. Duress is fine, like not good, but fine. Jousu is slow. Yeah, James is in the car. Where? Uh, in his in his door. How often does this deck just never cast Niv? Frequently. There are frequent games where you just kind of die. All right, let's do this. The demon's like less scary when I board in for duress. Do you think day nine or ninja has more success on Twitch? Like, I, I can't, I can't tell if that's a serious question or if you don't know how to look that up. Like, day nine's a very successful content producer, but ninja is, is like the, the most. When this deck gets blood crypt, do you think you can shove in both shocks to get more ninja? Nah, probably not. Hoagland makes more than ninja confirmed, right? If I made ninja money, we'd be paying cash for a house, not getting a loan. Because what you define as success is different than I define as success. I mean, like, then I don't know why you're, I don't know why you're, why you're asking. It's so weird. Like, if, if you, if you, it feels like it's just a stupid question then or a leading question that like you want to like you you're like looking to set up an argument for no constructive reason yeah other streamers i know have had issues with it yeah actually so when uh, my wife, my wife has a real job. My wife, my wife's a business analyst for an insurance company. So like, um, she has, she has tracked marketable income. So like I make a living doing this, but my income is very volatile. Like my income from one month to the next can vary anywhere from 25 to 50% what it was the previous month. And again, that's not a complaint. I love what I do here and I'm grateful to have it as a job. It's just like a statement of fact. That's like, there's not a lot of consistency. I don't think I want a second one of those. I really just want to land, right? B believe it or not, one of my highest income amounts for the year was a month where Justin Justin did one of his silly things. I think it was the month of the, the 24 hour burn stream. I think it was July. I've got it all written down for tax purposes somewhere. I, I would measure success on Twitch in terms of subscriber count because subscriber count is what turns into income in return. Do I just play the demon lord here? Like it burns all my treasures, but he also just draws me a bunch of cards, right? I think I just play the demon lord. He's probably gonna draw me two or three cards. He also just like blocks like a beast. Watch him just like draw me one card. No, as long as he draws me at least two, I think I'm fine. Yeah, drawing, drawing two cards there seems fine for me. Probably during the summer. I actually don't know Gabriel Payne, so I've only been doing this full time since since February or March. So like my subscriber count has still just been slowly rising as I as I get get a little bit larger. Last month will probably be my record for subs because we had an absurd amount of sub gifts last month. In other words, we we peaked at like just over 3,200 subscriber points at one point. And like right now I'm down to 2,700, but I knew that was coming, right? Like a bunch of those were gifts and most gifts don't renew. Yeah, I, I agree with that under. Like, I think I was definitely nearing the top of the growth potential as far as Magic Online was concerned, but Arena really expanded what you can do as a Magic streamer. It raised the ceiling on it because there's just more people coming in to watch Arena. 
Like my arena streams consistently have, have more viewers than my modern streams. Well, I guess I'm ditching Bacon Bolt here, right? Because I don't want them to do this twice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just Contempt now because I would much prefer to not have that happen to me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attack with this because they can Bacon Bolt it this turn anyway, so. Sure, I agree, Enemy. But I think, like, when you're asking a question, like, who is more successful comparing two things, I think you should have a baseline objective metric for how you're taking a measurement of that. And I think using how many subs someone has is an easy objective baseline. The competitive play announcement comes December 6th, so in a week. Suggestions for sideboarding with elves against band spirits. You should watch some of my recent videos, PK. If you flip through, I've played against both those decks very recently, and you can watch me sideboard with the deck. Thanks, Aja. I try to do my best to be specific. Yeah, I agree, DH. Art art making artifact content will be much better once it has an extension for sure. Well, this game this game's going well for us. Doing, definitely doing okay so far here. I agree. The fact the fact that I'm able to interact with people in chat and like read most messages is great. Also, the fact that like I moderate my chat pretty heavily helps with that too. Like there's a lot less of people just like posting nonsense in my chat than other chats. Like if you watch some other chats, like we get up to like 2,000 people occasionally. I'm still pretty pretty good to keep up with what people are mentioning but like a lot of chats you get into with even you know a thousand people in them and it gets pretty pretty unruly pretty quickly well i can't cast niv pikes i think i'm acquisitioning for the demon the deck list on your website updated i remember you playing a Demir splash green for assassin trophy, but I couldn't find those. So the uh, the important thing to know about the deck list page on my website is that the deck list pages up there aren't everything I've ever played. So every if you want a list of everything I've ever played on stream, you want to go to my YouTube channel or click the videos tab at the top and the deck list for all of those various decks are in the video description. So the deck list page on my website for modern and standard are there to provide kind of concise choices for things that I really like or think are especially interesting. Thanks for the endless hours. Ray Rack Three Way Warrior. Thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Good luck at the envy. Thanks. I'm open to have fun at the invitational. My my job isn't playing magic for money anymore. My job my job isn't competing in magic tournaments for money. Sorry, it's a better articulation. My job is playing magic on stream for money. So like when I'm going to a tournament this weekend and next weekend, I'm going to have fun. And that's my goal. My goal is to have a good time. Uh, as someone who doesn't win tournaments, I don't have to worry about making a token. I don't think they'll be making a new format just for Arena. I think they'll be making a new format for Magic, though. I think Magic's due for a new non-rotating format. Where do I think it will start? No idea. He might be dead, chat. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. I could do this. Nothing is ever truly lost. And get this. And then I can do this. And I can do this. And then I can do this. All right. Welcome to Niv Chicken. Enjoy your stay. I hope it either starts with Ixalan or Shadows over Innistrad, one of the two. 
Ixalan or Shadows of Renistrad. Ever played at the PT? I've not. I, I don't really like playing limited as a format, so I don't really have any aspirations to play at the Pro Tour either. Just very, very little desire. I play Magic for fun and playing limited for fun doesn't sound doesn't sound particularly fun to me. They have Lava Coil here, Bacon Bolt, I'm sad. I'll get to at least draw one card, but it would be sad. Yeah, if Brawl was on Arena, it seems like it could be sweet. If Brawl was on Arena and people played it, it seems like it could be a sweet format. Well, we're dead. The opponent's deck is definitely a better Niv-Mizzet deck than we are, right? Like, their, their deck is full of spells to, so like, trigger Niv constantly, and ours is not. I assume they're going to kill Kern here. Yeah, there's no, there's no reason for me not to take a draw step or two, right? Please do not do that. Like, if they if they don't have a counter spell for a removal spell, we could, like, rip a removal spell, kill their Niv, and be in the game. I could draw, like, a Contempt here. All right, I'll call it a day there. This deck was cute. I don't, I don't think this deck is particularly good. I think it's doing some really sweet things. I think um, when it works and all your pieces come together, it seems very reasonable, but I think it's got a lot of clunky draws in it. Like we had, we had a number of games where like we couldn't cast Niv because we didn't have a lantern. And then there was a game like that there where like we had Niv, but we just don't have a critical mass of instants and sorceries. We did cut discovery from the deck to try and bring in more early interaction that's a card that like makes niv better because it's a card that draws you more cards and triggers niv but i just feel like there's too much kind of clunk in the trunk like you just look at the curve of this deck or lack thereof and you can kind of tell that it's going to be a little bit awkward the two scummy for me to walk around the invitational and take notes for what people are playing for it. nope not at all do it make a google doc and share it with me too please and thank you 